What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Drama alert. Jada claps back at Summer. J Cinco versus Brooklyn. Drake says people... Drake pays people to throw beer on Pusha T. Oh, my God. Let's get it. It is so much going on, but... I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday, and you know what that means. If it ain't about me, then I'm a kiki. First on the dock, and then I'ma talk shit. I'm a sugar honey iced tea. Do you wanna sip now? Period. I said what I said. Now move along, bitch, before you get red. POP, you can't stick with me. Come on, girls, let's get. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is that is pretty on purpose. How you doing? Doing? Like I always say, it is tough making it through a week in today's yes, time. Is. If it ain't bullshit, her shit, his shit, yo shit, they shit, it's some shit. Hello? Take a shot, put a blunt up in the air, and if you don't do none of that, child, just pat yourself on the back, honey, because you made it and it's not easy. Now, before I go any further, I want to give a shout out to my friend, and that is Summer. Hey. Summer, thank you for having my post notifications on. That means so much to me, sweetheart. You were the first to comment on my Twitter post along with everybody else that be coming right after you. Y'all be having that shit popping on Mondays. So, um, shout out to you, Summer. I greatly, 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 greatly appreciate you for being so active and supporting me. It means so much to me, more than you can even think of. So, I wanted to take the time out to say I appreciate you, sweetheart. Continue being you. Continue being amazing. No matter what anybody say, bitch, you're my friend. And that's all that fucking matter, friend. Period. Hey, bitch. All right. Now, let's go on again to y'all favorite part of the show. And that is the shit, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls. The stand is some shit. shit. First for Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Rick Ross versus DJ Envy. Now, baby, the trade is going at it. Now, I know some of y'all are saying, what is going on? When did this start? I didn't even know they had beef. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Well, let me catch you on up to today. So, we're on the curve. These two beef started when they were shaming each other about the car shows they were having, right? Now, what I'm getting is that then Envy was minding his business. Rick Ross came at him and made some side jokes. So, then he doubled down and talked about DJ Envy's girlfriend and his children and told them to come over and clean his pool. Now, bitch, if that ain't shame, that ain't shame. Rick Ross just going too far, and he keep going too, so it's getting kind of, like, tacky. So that's when DJ Envy came back and responded to him about being a correctional officer and all the other bullshit. But some folks are saying that DJ Envy started first mentioning Ross's kids, and then somebody go fund me, all that other bullshit, woo, woo. But girl, me digging and digging and digging and digging and digging, it seems like Ross started first. I don't know, y'all debate about it in the comments and let me know. So anyway, now that we are all caught up on how it started, because some of y'all might have forgot, because they, they been going at yeah. We now have what is happening today. So it's in the media that DJ Envy is facing two losses about real estate pride. And child, baby, that's when Rick Ross took it amongst himself to be a little shady. So he comes out and he says, his wife still doesn't speak. I need a pedicure. <laughs> so, I, I personally is shady because we're on the verb. Ain't that kind of racist that they say his wife is Jamaican. But from what I heard, they say his wife mama is is Asian. Now, I don't know y'all. Y'all tell me what you think. So, if that's the case, that's real racist and shady. What in but the But anyway, hell? and then Rick Ross comes back and says, DJ Envy's Carissa in his four clothes. Time to tattoo that hairline. Now, while I'm sitting over here thinking to myself, I'm like, well, child, you doing all this trip chatting, all this talking, all this other bullshit. But where was this energy when 50 Cent was coming at your head? See, I guess you done learned how to do all this reading and roasting from 50 because he was on your ass this long. I don't know, but the girls is talking. The girls. And then why is 50 Cent roasting Rick Ross? It's talking. The girls is talking. The girls is talking. But while we talking, did the boss pay his wing stop people while he over here talking about this man's foreclosure? What was that? Rick Ross take care of head business. One thing we can say. They don't know our business, but the girls and the girls want to know. But I don't know what they didn't expect to get into it with Rick Ross because the way he touched his kid's mother. That was enough for me. I really hope him and DJ Envy let this beef go because y'all two grown men out here acting like 12 year old boys. Get it together. Now I get it, y'all may be like, well hell, Envy was talking about him, whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. 
But really, was he really talking about him? All he said was Gunplay was weird for setting up a GoFundMe, begging for money, but then turned around and blessed Rick Ross with that chain. Now, I can't go word for word about what was said during the car show battle situation, but I know Rick had said what he said about that the girlfriend and the children come to clean that pool. Now, that's fucked up. I mean, that just hit a nerve real bad when he called that man a CO. So, yeah. Now, when his wife come back around and say, is you still fat? You need to lose weight. Don't say nothing now. Okay. Because you over there talking about her. Men come to other men's wives and stuff. It's corny, just like Rick Ross feet. Yeah, bringing in women is so lame. What? <laughs> that ain't none of my business. I love Rick Ross. Let me hush it. He cool. Both them cool. I just think this is crazy. I guess people forget they had medical issues and they want to come back and be messy again. But, hey. This guy spares you one time. I don't know if they're going to do it again. All right. Okay. Well, it ain't about me. Let's kick in it. Next for Chicago Ice Tea, we got Air Banks and Chaotic versus Ain't. Now, baby, this is a little messy. So, Erica went on her Instagram story and she posted a clip. Ladies and gentlemen, the beautiful, the gorgeous, oh the God. talented. I always get copyrighted for some of this shit. And if he don't, that's just crazy. Oh, Erica Banks, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God. You are crazy. This Everything is my look good. Thank you. <laughs> Oh, oh my God. God, you feel so good. Oh, Why are you so warm right like now. that? I mean, everybody want to know what chaotic doing. You know, it ain't nothing crazy. We kind of just scratching the surface a little bit, and you know, he gets to know me. Now, after she okay. posted that, that's when Amy came back and Amy made a comment about the whole situation. Amy puts up this right here. And she says, look, this is the last time I'm gonna speak about this because I don't want chaotic. I told him he was for everybody. That's why he reached out and got Erica. And I'm just like, Damn. Damn. He didn't really reach down. He probably reached to the left and got her because y'all basically on the same show. But it ain't none of my business. So anyway, I found out the situation. Erica is basically calling me delusional. As you can see, he bought her the same wig, but she extended her baby hair. But I want to stop you right there because <laughs> after following Erica for a while, she always been doing her baby hair like that. So we gonna have to correct you on that one. Anyway, he put her in the exact same outfit as me, and three weeks later, boom, she was she became delusional. Now I don't know if it's just me, but I find it kind of weird. How is your man gonna put you in the same outfit as his ex? Not even the same outfit, but bitch, the same pose, the same hair. <laughs> to be honest, bitch, you're the delusional one, and I'm gonna just keep it real. And I don't give a fuck. Erica unfollowed me um, a while back. When I put on Mr. Monday, it was about the whole Nicki Minaj won the collab situation. I go on my Instagram to support her, and I see that I'm unfollowed. I'm like, well, bitch, fuck you, too. <laughs> <laughs> the hell you I was the first to dance on her drop it song, boot it song. Where the fuck that damn song was on my damn pole? I really was fucking with her. That's another story. Let me go that. Take that out there. <laughs> but anyway, Chaotic comes up, and he says, Erica really appreciates me. <laughs> Why you still out here sneaking around with your ex fiance? So don't get mad that you fuck with the bag. Just make sure your fiance has something to bring to the table other than an <laughs> appetite. But anyway, Erica wore it better. That's why I put y'all in the same outfit and hair. Um, sir. Wait, did he say that? Erica appreciates me and you still sneaking around with your ex fiance. So don't get mad that you fuck with the bag. Just make sure your fiance has something to bring to your table other than an uh, appetite. And Erica wore it better. That's why I put y'all in the same outfits and hair. What the fuck? He really did that. My baby hairs are bigger than her career. Damn. If she would just relax them strong ass shoulders and breath. What? Breathe out. Breath out. She wouldn't be so tight. Sis just needs a nap. She needs some silk. Erica wore it better. That's why I put y'all in the Damn. same outfit and hair. Um, sir, that's not a flex. <laughs> Y'all should feel stupid as fuck for doing that anyway. That that is dumb if you ask me. So then Eric comes back and she says, My baby hairs are actually longer than your career. If you would just relax this <laughs> <laughs> Admitting it is crazy as fuck. Can you imagine? Cause that's not a flex for Erica. Just cause mm. the outfit was free? Like, damn nigga, you ain't have enough decency. To put us in different outfits? I think that that's rude as hell. If you would just relax the strong ass shoulders and breathe out. <laughs> <laughs> she 
it wouldn't be so tight. She just needs to nap. And then Chaotic come back and says she just needs some silk milk. And I'm just like, not they jumping hard. Oh, that's real. Anyway, so I'm just gonna go off the world on the curb because girls is shit chattering. And what the girls is saying is, Erica is the fake one because Amy came up to her and told her that something happened between them. And Erica was the one acting crazy knowing she fucked with him. So that's why the girls are kind of confused on why Erica said Amy pressed her about chaotic when really all she did was she was informing you about him. When you turn around and said that you didn't even fuck with him but secretly you was fucking with him. And then the girls are still talking saying, girl, when you did that confessional, you were saying, oh, she don't even know what's going on between us. Because how you gonna turn around and say it ain't none of this girl business, but then you stand and showing up to her studio sessions and shit like that, trying to form a friendship, you switch up quick over some dick. Oh I, my God. No, you lie. You know what? I ain't got nothing to do with it. It is what it is. Y'all can talk about it in the midst of the comments, but it's just real crazy because it, it, it's a whole lot, a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. If it ain't about me, they all messy. Okay. Next one, okay? We have Ariana Grande. No, last week we was talking about how allegedly her her co-star Ethan from Wicked was, you know, a little thing or whatever the case may be. Well, honey, come to find out his straight wife, Lily J. She come out and she tell the folks, baby. She is still married to this man, but they have been separated for two months and they got a child that's 11 months old. I said, I know you fucking lying. So you mean to tell me that our better brain done broke up this happy family, allegedly happy family, for a relationship that's only gonna last six months according hey. to her track record? He hey. done <laughs> finally filed for divorce. Now that everything done hit the fan. And I guess Mr. Ethan finna try to pursue his relationship with Ariana Grande. So Ariana basically really just said, Absolutely not. The folks on the curb are saying, I'm not gonna date no man that look like an imaginary friend. Bitch, you got me fucked up. So the wife goes and she talks about how she's gonna move forward for the sake of her son. And she says she's not a girl's girl, but she feels as though her family was just collateral damage. So, honey. I don't know, this is just a whole lot, a whole lot of And you know what's so sad? The wife chose personalities over looks and she still, she still got played. <laughs> Ladies, let that be a message. Go for the money. It's just sad, this thing gonna feel real stupid. We are gonna go on by Christmas and he done lost his whole family for that. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. If it ain't about me, Ciao. let's keep keeping. Okay. Next for the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have some Walker versus me. And let's not forget my girl, Jada Waiter. Now, child, I told y'all. I said it, I said it, I said it, I said, I said, oh, baby, they ain't gonna last. They gonna break up. I said, this man is gonna- That nigga Meech is a thought. He, he, he's, he's just like his father. She, he is going to cheat. When that girl told y'all about that necklace, I already knew that this man was gonna cheat. I knew this. I knew that girl was lying. But no, I'ma wanna act like everybody just running their mouth and in her business and don't know what they talking about. She wanna believe her man. Well, they broke up. <laughs> <laughs> As you see, someone walking right here, she came to the end and she said, try my best to be Jada Waiter. Like that was so shady, y'all. Trying her best to be Jada Waiter was shady. Shady lady. But I couldn't. Now, I'm over here like, well, wait a minute. Hold on. What the fuck is you trying to say? What what, what, what does that mean? Try my best to be Jada Waiter. First of all, sweet. Let me read it all before I start going in. But I couldn't. It was cute, though. I wish him the best. Can't do that cheating stuff. Now, let me tell you something. Okay. Now, yeah, little baby might have cheated or whatever the case may be, allegedly. But Jada was trying to stay and work on her relationship for her family's sake. Now, I'm not saying women should go through bullshit or whatever the case may be and let a man treat them how they want because of a family. But I do say, don't just walk away at the first little thing. Y'all should try to work things out. And then if you see that it's continued disrespect, it's time to motherfucking go because people do make mistakes. But don't try to use another woman's problems to excuse your bullshit. Because if I'm not motherfucking mistaken, you got three kids under 30. You got two baby daddies. And three failed relationships within two and a half years. Not Jada. So okay. y'all situation is- And her shit was so quick. Like, so, soon as Summer Walker gave somebody a taste, girl, everything just went to the left. Not the same, baby. Y'all ain't sitting at the same table. But Jada in my business. So then Jada comes out and said, I learned my lesson after one 
Hello, I caught the shade, Jada. One child. I definitely caught the shade, too. Because oh, around here start they all trend. And try to insert me for laugh. And I get why Jada is upset. And she has every right to be upset because people were laughing and making jokes about her for weeks and months. And they still do. So for somebody who Jada was saying is allegedly in her DMs trying to be cool and trying to be that, why would you think that was cute to even make that reference when you talking to somebody in a DM like you they friend? So then Summer goes and posts this clip that she had with Young Miami after the split of her and me. Oh, like when once you just figure out, oh, you just gonna keep lying. Mm -hmm. Like you ever had a situation with somebody and be like, okay, baby, cause that's me. I caught you with some lies. And I'd be like, all right, look, cats out the bag, it's cool. Mm -hmm. So now that I know what you got going on, let's just keep it a hundred from here on out. Anything else you wanna tell me? No, no, uh, no. Uh, then more pop out the back. I just asked you, right. what are you doing? I know at first hand. Yeah. No, and it could just go on like, like I know, you could bring the <laughs> She was like, I don't know. Selfie <laughs> together. Look, like, I yeah. have the text messages right <laughs> here. What are you talking about? No. Y'all, that line stopped. How is it still going? I'm blind. That's yeah. that. So. That is so fucking funny, man. I, I'm not dealing with that shit. Like, mm -hmm. I'm just not. Mm -hmm. I will give you deal with it every time, though. The first time she trying to figure out how that chain was around that girl neck. And he told her security gave it to him. Then... The girl brought out the proof of the messages, which I believed because um, his lie was just not believable. Men tell on themselves all the time. But I will give up a lot of shit. I will give up a big ass house. I, I just want to know how is this clip still going and the line ain't. But bags, cars, shoes, head, everything. <laughs> I don't give a for my piece. So then come out and she take up for her friend as she should because ain't nobody gonna talk about my friend and try to make a mockery out of her relationship problem that she and had. she was minding now, her baby, business. Worry about your own. But what you and me just together three days ago while he holding your baby? Y'all like, ah, oh, look at that baby. Look at him holding the children. Bitch, what motherfucking 23 year old that you think gonna wanna be with somebody that got three children and he ain't even the father? Not now. One of them motherfuckers. Wait, he's 23? Alexa, how old is Summer Walker? Sis, sit it down. You sound stupid. 23? And you think he gonna be serious? Sit and down. he ain't got no children? And you want him to accept your children? And then probably have another child? Then he gotta have four children? Bitch, you got my fucked up. I ain't saying that's wrong for nobody to take on for nobody else's children, but this man is 23. His life ain't even really kicked off yet. You supposed to really have your shit together at 30. This nigga 23. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Girl, please. So then Larry come out and say money can't buy loyalty. And I'm just like, ooh. So is this the reason they broke up? Yeah. Mmm. Mm. But I'm a hush because she did say that she dated him because he was broke and out the way. So maybe he ain't just stay on out the way. She and Larry like, look, I may have been broke, but I was a good dad of him three damn kids. <laughs> but she, that shit yeah. don't pay the bills, Larry. She wouldn't try to find me to help her out. And me just like, oh, that's what you want? <laughs> I think she just out of girl. Let me hush. I would have known that wasn't gonna last. Me ain't came out of he ain't came out and said nothing. I feel they gonna get back together because he ain't saying nothing. I think he just. I ain't 23. I don't get no fuck. <laughs> it ain't around me. I ain't even know Meach was 23, y'all. Let's get in this. Hey! Next on the Sugar Honey Ice Tea, we have Chess Madison versus Tasha K. Now, as y'all know, it's a lot going on. And everybody keeps saying, well, so what's your, what's your words? What's your thoughts? What's your words? What's your thoughts? Bitch, I ain't got, <laughs> I ain't got <laughs> nothing to say. So I'm gonna just let y'all know what's going on between these two. So you know, Tasha K, she ended up responding about all the situation that's going on, and uh, you know she was having uh, just hilarious and bad. And you know, T. S. Madison always stands up for her trans women. And baby, this is what was said. Tasha, why are you playing with me like that? Playing with you like what? Why are you posting my? Why are you posting my address and stuff online? Like why your, your address was not online, girl. Why are you? Why are you, Tasha? Why are you playing with me like that? Playing with you like what, girl? Why? Why are you posting my address on Instagram? Where, where, send me, why? send me where I sent. Oh, send I me your address. I, 
I have it because I no, no, it. no. I send me your address. Send it to me. Send me your address. Communicating with my lawyer already. Go, that's great. Lawyer. That's great. Tell your lawyer to hit why, me. Send me why, your address. Why are you, why are you send me. Send. What the hell? When did she get on the phone with this nigga? Send me why your you address. Online? All right, Tia. Since you ain't gonna answer the question. Why, why are you posting my address online, Tasha? Anything you else you want to ask me, Tia? That's know not a lie. Anything else you want to ask me that's not a lie? Posting my address online. All right, T.S. Listen, I got a show to do in 20 minutes, I, I, okay? I, I, it's, it's, it's all good. You got a show, but... All right. We well, we're we're online. gonna Why? we're gonna Why? leave Why? it there until you, you send me until Why? you send me the receipt on Why your you address. You then we can have a conversation. Have a good day. Bye, Timothy. <laughs> Yo, bye, Timothy is crazy. Timothy was. <laughs> b- b- bitch! T.S. Madison pissed me off. When people show you who they are, you believe them, okay? The only thing foundational about T.S. Madison is her excellent foundation that she wears on her face to compete with us, okay? I, I always <laughs> loved T.S. Madison's show, but I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm telling y'all right now, I cannot fuck with these so called content creators. What I have a problem with is that. Maddie, I don't ever see speaking up for the for the disrespect that black women go through. Now she disrespected me to my face and I didn't see it till it aired. Gave her the highest rated show next to Monique. She let Sophia do a segment before my segment was coming on and Sophia talked about bloggers that were liars. Right after that segment comes my segment. Maddie lets other people do her dirty work for her. She want to always try to remain neutral, but then she'll send shots when she feel it's safe. Because if I see a bitch and I see you in the parking lot or the Winn-Dixie and all that shit you was talking, I'm going to ask you to keep the same fucking energy. And then I know Tasha ain't trying to fight T.S. Madison. I felt sorry for her because she started crying and started hollering motherfucking sick cell. That's how she did that. That nigga's still a man now. I knew where to put her. <laughs> no disrespect, but y'all know what I mean. I've never seen her stand up for anything. Not even for your fellow trans sisters that are out here getting murdered every day. Bitch, sign a bill, go vote, go protest, child picture, nothing, bitch. Let's start from the beginning. Where's the girl on the period? The, the, the man, woman on the period. This is what I mean when the transphobia just comes out. The audacity and just the, the, the arrogance for cis women to believe that they own periods that they own womanhood you don't okay you don't own periods you don't own womanhood you experience both and both are different for every person but as a cis woman it doesn't belong to you so you can't gatekeep it like i i am not on a side about that for one who in the fuck is trying to gatekeep a period y'all can have this motherfucker real shit take it please i'm in the gym early can't even finish my damn workout because i got a whole cramp all up in my uh my urethra and all that other area y'all know what the fuck i'm talking about i know i said it wrong i don't give a damn my ovaries was on fire all right going to war in my ovaries okay now I said urethra. A war in my ovaries. Okay? We don't want this shit. Who out here gatekeeping the period? If you are, matter of fact, I am on their side. Get that shit away. We don't want this shit. I don't understand that. That nigga's gatekeeping periods is the craziest shit. You act like it's transferable, friend. We can't transfer the period. Like... <laughs> Yeah, uh, before we leave, you still want that, uh, you still want the period? Did you still want it? I just need to make sure so I can have my cash app ready. Like, that. What? I'm just not with you on that. I'm not. I'm not at all. That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Hello? The audacity. If we're not gatekeepers, bleed. <laughs> <laughs> Tasha said, I dare you to bleed. 
I fucking dare you. <laughs> Have a baby through your intestinal tract. Oh, my God. <laughs> Nah, that was but funny. Jessica Larry's responded, and I could tell she was trying to be politically correct. <sighs> Who the fuck stands up for us? And us, I mean women, real women, biological women, women who were born with all the parts that you guys wish that you were. Um, when does the delusion stop? What is the difference between um, you and someone who has been um, diagnosed to be mentally insane? What's the, the only difference is you don't have a straight jacket on. Stop talking out your fucking ass. Wake up. How are you projecting your anger on real women? I didn't buy my flex cup yet. I started wearing diapers. I told you that, friend. And I don't know how I feel about that cup because if the bitch come out, I'm going to be pissed. Because we are the gatekeepers. We are the gatekeepers. I, 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 I heard the frustration in her voice, but I was like, just she trolling. But when I, then when I saw Tia's Madison enter the chat, you would think she would use her platform that has 90% support from black women. Heterosexual black men ain't following her, and if they are, they gay. Okay. You got <laughs> trans women that are being murdered. Oh Be my gay God. men being bit, just, just so much shit we could really be focusing on, but you want to use your platform for makeup lashes, breast implants, shots and it's imaginary transphobia that you think all women go through we don't go through transphobia and then you want to call us sis i'm not your sis i'm not your fish i'm not none of that i'm your fucking mammy and you get it right your yeah. bitches wouldn't exist you wouldn't have these hair colors chinese made these wigs for us it's not enough money y'all must to keep the market it's just not enough. <laughs> just as a way to, to, to back up her claims that there are real women with underlying transphobia issues because we're jealous of trans women because we get mistaken for being trans women. She used this video to, I guess, double down on what she was saying instead of, again, speaking out on the bullshit and on the bitch that's on her team trying to say that we don't own periods and we're still waiting on them to bleed. Play the video. You do a segment here called The Dark Side of the DM. Okay. I told you a little bit about it yes. earlier. Yes. Is there a DM that you would like to share with these motherfucking people yes uh, okay so it's, it's a cliffhanger so this guy's a celebrity blue check in the dm yep this nigga dm'd me and wanted to fly me out so i could fuck him in the ass yes but not with a dildo this nigga thought i was a man he really did think i was uh yep he thought i was a transgender this he thought i was trans competition Damn. he was very drunk what he was what the fuck very is wrong direct with, him? with it like, i was this like this is crazy wow. yes. i would like to know this nigga's name later mm -hmm. Woo. let me ask you this mm -hmm. uh if he made the the deal seem pretty juicy you know let's mm -hmm. say you single and you know maybe offered you a hundred thousand dollars would you have put a strap on and fuck him in the ass absolutely what do you mean mm -hmm. <laughs> now child after she said all that honey Oh, he wanted to get fucked. Up. If Massey came in and baby, when I tell you, Mama Red, I don't know what book this is, but I need to get the book because bitch, she red. First of all, Tasha K, bitch, fuck you, fuck you, you whirlpool, wishy watchy, flip floppity ass bitch. I really wasn't gonna come on with no with no motherfucking. Malice or ill in my heart, cause the second part of what I'm getting ready to talk about ain't got. I don't have no male or illness in my heart, but you bald head, or Alice, wag, dirty foot dragon, drunk pussy, ditzy bitch, play with your pussy, bitch, and don't play with motherfucking me, bitch. When you brought your struggling ass over here, bitch, I I sent my makeup artist to, to to fix your ugly ass up. Damn. Okay, let's get that. Let's get that for number one. Damn, bitch, you borrowed from me. Number one, mm. number motherfucking two, bitch. Number. <laughs> if it wasn't for me and Kaya split, bitch, you'll be trying to figure out who the fuck you is. One thing T.S. Madison has always done is stood on that bitch. She is T.S. fucking Madison, bitch. I told y'all bitches I was I had dick at the bottom and titty at the top, bitch, from day one when the door fucking opened. Fair. And the only reason why I'm not going to get on your, on your mama it's because your mama ain't did nothing to me. Now, bitch, you got four million motherfucking problems that you need to be worrying about, bitch. You flipping asshole. And you ain't you don't need to be worrying shit about motherfucking me. You need flipping. To, you need to be trying to take care of them four million motherfucking problems you got, bitch. 
before them goddamn uh, African kids be out there on save a child bitch paying 35 cents a day. Friend, it's 12 o'clock over there for you, but it's 3 o'clock over here for me. Somebody drinking in China right now. Walking around trying to get their next meal. Life is great. Find you somebody to play with, puss ass asshole bitch. I'm from Miami, Florida, just like bitch you from Florida. Punk bitch. I ain't never did shit to you. Brought your struggling, ditzy, drunk ass into my motherfucking house. That's how you, that's how you phony bitches work. Okay. Off the dope. Fuck your p- puss ass. Fuck you and the motherfucking football head ass kids you got. <laughs> don't play with me, ho. I don't like puss ass bitches like you because it always be bitches like you. They always do fuck shit like that. It's always you. That's how I know you a Florida bitch. I don't grew up with bitches like you just like that. You was just calling Jess a man two motherfucking days ago. Ugly ass ho. Bitch, if it wasn't for my motherfucking makeup artist, bitch, you wouldn't look nice as you do now. Cause you's an ugly motherfucker. Just like you. She's still using a makeup artist? Yo, man. Bitch, cause we got the pictures. That's number motherfucking one. You ain't lower to nobody, so I wouldn't expect anything less of you. You a scumbag ass bitch, foot dragging ass motherfucking hoe. Damn. You, bitch, Tasha K. I'm talking directly to motherfuckers today. All y'all are women in Dang. your own right. Be it a trans woman or a woman, cis woman, whatever the fuck y'all want to say. It's just, you're all amazing. Damn it, I just, oh, I hate this. DS Medicine said it's dick at the bottom and titties at the top, baby. I mean, how real you got to be? It, but now. the gatekeeping appeared. What did TS say about that? Since she believe in the dick at the bottom and titties at the top. What does she have to say about that? By anybody on either Gatekeeping that period is crazy. Mm-mm. I ain't never heard of no shit like that. And, and worry about the feminine men. That, that's how this man is who I am. It, it is what it is. Child, please. I, I'm good. All right. Well, it ain't about me. Let's keep eating. Okay. All right, you guys, that's all I have for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this mess. First of all, okay, we have James Cole versus Brooklyn. Now, baby, this is a hard, a whole lot, and I don't know who to believe, because mind you, her, her family, they know him for lying. He lied too in the beginning, because mind you, he lied to this girl about his age. She had to come find out by social media, whatever the case may be. That's crazy. But then, on top of that, once they started going together, she was a whole lot, a whole lot. She was a mess and a half. But he kept taking her back. So that's why I don't feel bad that he's going through what he's going through. Because you decided to take this girl back knowing all the bullshit she kept putting you through. So now you just reap what you sold by staying with this woman. When God gets you out of something, you need to go. Okay. So anyway, child, it's a mess. He goes onto his social media YouTube channel mm-hmm. and he posts up what happened between him and Brooklyn. You see her go to prom with a you see him start doing videos with you see okay it's a problem then start hanging out then his videos then his edits acting like they like each other but you never know because you just can't never tell right just imagine your boyfriend seeing all this because when you you regular like regular people you break up with somebody you don't never see that you feel me you never see it again it's just like, all right that's a girl that's a girl well, me i see this ever. you know what i'm saying so i'm already feeling like these you feel me then bam all the videos all the TikToks coming all this coming and, and right here, is he talking about Dylan, y'all? Moving to their house, bro. <laughs> then he's moving to their crib, bro. You ain't never dealt with no like that. How the f*** did you feel if a nigga that you think like your girl move into the crib with him, with her? And they living in the okay. same crib. So now that thought you having when you see them all together every time, now you thinking about that 24-7 because this person know if this person lays their head at where your people lay, where your feet. Now, mind you, I can say that with a case that be Brooklyn then go and she goes this. Now, I'm like, wait a minute. So, this victim ass, sad ass little girl gonna take a fucking picture, bro. I've been to about that picture. I told her to delete that picture. I told her to delete that picture. I said, bro, when she took the picture, T.O. peeped her to take the picture because T.O. in the back. T.O. witnessed all this shit. T.O. in the back seat. I'm driving, she take a, when I say she, her nose bleeding, mind you, I'm driving. So her nose bleeding, I'm like, bro, your nose is bleeding. She goes to look. 
and then she takes a picture. So that was Cap? I didn't know though. T.O. like, well, he's like, whoa, Brooklyn, what you doing? So I look. I see her take the picture. I'm like, bro, what is you? So I move the phone. Like, bro, what is you doing? Like, why are you taking? So you mean to tell me this man was allegedly beating on you and you stayed with him? Now, I'm not going to point any fingers because I know how what? that domestic violence stuff go. Sometimes women will stay with a man that is putting their hands on them. And everybody's saying, well, why didn't she tell her brother? She know how her brother is. Her brother ain't going to go for that. Woo, 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 yada, yada, yada. Well, for y'all who are young and don't know, sometimes when somebody is getting abused, they won't even tell family members or friends what is going on. For well, the simple fact that one, embarrassed. Two, they be like, well, shut. What if I tell them? But then I end up going back. So sometimes they keep this stuff to themselves. So I don't want to say she is lying. Send me the exact live of, of him exposing everything. Because y'all said that um, I missed it. I missed it all. In the beginning of that live, this shit was trash. I didn't. He wasn't talking about nothing. So I need to lie where he talking about everything. But something just seems a little fishy about this whole situation. So I'm going to just keep my mouth closed until the truth really come out. I never want to shame the victim because you never know if stuff is true. But I do know how these YouTube people are. So anyway, what we're going to say right now is allegedly he has been putting his hands on this girl. And they had other altercations where he tried to throw her stuff over the balcony in situations like that. Y'all, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Exactly, exactly. I know you're not gonna do that shit. Mind you, he said he be put, she be put her hands on him. Y'all, look at this shit. Look at this shit. Exactly. She caught his ass. Exactly, exactly. I know you're not gonna do that shit. Mind you, he said he be put, she be put her hands on him. Now, if y'all remember his old best friend. That's so crazy that a video stopped him from doing it. He used to allegedly abuse her too. So, girl, I don't know. So she basically said she wants to wash her hands and rebrand herself. She, she don't want to deal with all this. And he come back, he's like, well, girl, you know how you fuck Dylan? He like, how horny you was. And I'm like, well, what the fuck? What, Dylan's supposed to be her childhood family friend? Did she grow up with Dylan? That's why he's saying you fuck your brother ain't that incest. Because she, she was allegedly saying that was like a brother to her. That's the one who moved in with her. He exposed one of Brooklyn friends and said something happened in 2020. And he was like, I did not know you in 2020. Now, this a whole lot, a whole lot. All them nights I was f***ing trip. Tell them about all them nights I was tripping. Calling your phone, making songs, e emailing you, sick. Thinking I'm tripping, you f***ing up. And you lied about it to my face and put it on your granny. Put it on your granny. I definitely ain't see this one. My face. Told me, n***a, so my granny I ain't do that. Whole time he talking about it. Whole time I, I already know. You got me f***ed up, nigga. You know I gave you my f***ing heart, nigga. Don't f***ing play on me like I'm some type of bad nigga. The f***? Got me f***ed up, nigga. The f*** ain't your mama, nigga. All them niggas. Hey, y'all did bullshit to me that whole relationship, nigga. The f***? You tripping, nigga. On my soul, nigga. You tripping. Y'all niggas tripping, nigga. Playing me like I beat, man. Get your out of here, nigga. I don't hit you, girl. Hit you with a bend left. And I don't know. I've seen guys get just like this and act like, oh, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it because now they are afraid that their reputation is about to be tarnished and people ain't gonna fuck with them. But then men also act like this because women, some women have used domestic violence as a tool and it really wasn't what it was. I, I just feel bad for both of them that it had to come to this point because it's just. Who do you believe? What is the truth? You know what I'm saying? And the truth. She looked like such a baby in the face when she was fucking with Dylan. Will come out, and I just hope. I just hope the girl ain't lying. I don't know. It, it's hard. To well, I need that video, y'all. Everything was all over the place. They were just posting, 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 posting. I'm like, I can't keep up. He should have just left a long time ago, but nah. And y'all, I'm just really confused because, like I said, you know, some people don't want to tell when somebody's beating on them. So that's what she says in this um, message right here. I, I don't play about this shit like this. I didn't involve anyone because I wasn't done, and I knew I wasn't, and that was dumb. I mean, uh. He's really a crazy nut, acting like he has not been on, on beating on you since 2020 from pulling your hair and dragging you to locking you in the car, choking you and everything. I'm lying about it. It's crazy. He might as well just own up to him. I told y'all they was just posting so much, so I'm trying to follow along. 
She said she didn't want to tell nobody because she knew she would probably go back and yada, 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 all the stuff that I said, mind you. And then she said he has been beating up with somebody in the family. Said he been beating on her since 2020, but they got together in 2021. So hence why they got those tattoos of what the word of the curve is saying. She said the man used to beat on her, dragging her, choked her, locked her in the car. And I'm just like, well, damn. So he comes back and he says, okay, so look, let me tell you something. How the hell did I lock <laughs> Okay, so look, let me tell you something. It's <laughs> not funny, but it's funny. Because he said, how did I lock you in the car? And the unlock button. <laughs> <laughs> and the unlock button is right there <laughs> that, that makes a lot of sense like, it does but one thing I gotta be on her side about is niggas are just way faster when it comes to getting out the way it's only so many times you can jump over a seat and be able to get out of a car so say for instance she tried to jump out the seat a couple times he, he ain't let it happen alright bet say for instance she put down the window she was scared cause she thought the nigga was gonna hit her in the fucking face that ain't gonna work either. If she can't muscle that car and get up out, like if she can't muscle him and get out of that car, it ain't happening. But like I told y'all, like, cause I was just about to say, like I said though, if it was a pregnant one, not pregnant, a woman who has had children will break through anything. Okay. That's why I said, cause that's why I said, your baby mama gonna break through the door. TT's gonna break through. It's no way in the fuck. I can hold the door and TT going to be like, you know, ah, oh, fuck it. I ain't getting out. Or she just not going to, not even a man. It's not happening. Oh, bitch, I'm going to get out this car. <laughs> you got to be like literally leaning on it or like manhandling the, sh I don't know. I just don't see it happening. <laughs> I I'm going to get out this fucking, I will break the front of that window. Do you hear me? Uh, you would, you better hope it ain't your car. Because I'm going to tear that bitch up. You ain't holding me in no car. In the front of that window, you can never keep me in a car through the front of the window. I'm getting out that car. And Cinco is definitely a 100 pounds soak away. I agree. But that don't mean she's strong enough to handle it either. But that mom's strength is absolutely different. Facts. Watch y'all hold kids and take groceries in the house. Y'all niggas is different. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How is somebody going to lock you in the car? And the button right there, I can see she said, you trapped me in the car. And you okay, trapped is different. Trapped is different. Trapped is definitely different. Like, he's ruining my fucking life. He's ruining my life. He's ruining my life. He's ruining my life, bro. And I hate that. Like, leave me alone. That's all. That's literally all I'm asking. <laughs> Honey, I'm, I'm not home. being disrespectful. My mom strength on a whole on a hoax status. Oh, God. Like, people are coming telling me, like, He's liking, he's liking, um, Kyle. she ain't had one child. She don't know nothing about that life. <laughs> I, I see her little ass not being able to do shit. That's what I'm saying. Like, baby, I would have kicked the window out. That window is coming out that front window or the back, whichever one I choose. And you better hope it ain't your car. Who the fuck trying to hold anybody in the car anyway? That's just crazy. I think so. Yeah. Bash me in the video. I did not once bash him. All I said was leave me alone. I can't tell him that. I can't tell him that. I tried talking to him privately on the phone yesterday. I called him three times. To try to tell him leave me alone. Privately. Privately. Y'all keep saying about? she was toxic as hell in the video. You just called me yesterday. Duh. You know why I just called you, bro? Like, what are you talking about? I hear much in the background. I try to be so nice, bro. And look where it ends. Like, look, look where it has me end up. Like, bro, no, leave me alone, bro. Like, you don't want nothing to do with me. Let's talk about her mom putting him in a YouTube contract and taking most of his YouTube money. That happened? That's why he said your family did fucked up shit to me. Oh, we got to see that video. Cuz. I don't we gotta want see that nothing video. to do with you. Why are we even doing this? Why? His mom taking like, her money. I mean, no, her no, mom taking his money is crazy. This is annoying. Like, at the end of the day, I have, to, I have to protect my character. I have to protect me. Like, niggas just bashing me, saying shit.
shit, I look bad, bro. This nigga's having me look bad. Bad. I'm just supposed to suck it up? No, nigga, I've been quiet for way too long. Having him on a contract and she wasn't on a contract? That's fucked up. Uh, what about TT boyfriend? He on a contract? I don't think DDG mama would do that, but I believe that's some Deshae mama shit, though, for real. Way too long. I've been letting him take a contract. Break, is no crazy. I don't know, but it's just a lot of this stuff is that's not fucked connected. up. Like you did not want to see him win at all. I yo, I genuinely, I genuinely think DDG told TT boyfriend, if you gonna date my sister, nigga, you gonna have some money. My sister not about to be dating no broke boy. So I think he said, get your YouTube channel going. Let's get this shit together. Okay. That's crazy. He signed the Zooted. Nah, DDG ain't taking that boy money. Dot, I, I just, I'm trying to keep up. But Even if he was, the nigga making a lot. None of DG, none of DDG people's on contract. He, he did have some people sign the Zooted though. Like, it's like, ah, oh, this is guilt arguing. And then some of her stuff just not adding up. Like she's just angry because she got caught cheating on him. And then alleged. Can you imagine having a conversation with your girl and you like, yeah, I'm on this contract with your mom. And she ain't saying nothing about being on the contract. And 20% is absolutely crazy for a teenage boy. Well, I don't know if he was teenage at the time because he lied about his age. But I wouldn't have took his money, bro. He was supposed to be like, your channel has nothing to do with me. <laughs> Unless, was he living with her? I need, I got to, I have some questions. On her too, so it seems like they're going tit for tat trying to make the other one look bad. God damn, I just woke up. Nigga, if I just woke up, nigga, how you up? I'm three hours ahead of you. God damn. Oh, damn. So she said, she said, why would she come here and lie about abuse? Because you was throwing that motherfucker uh. back. That's why you lying about abuse. If I, if, if, if I, oh, you motherfucker talking about if you was crazy, why I didn't leave? Because, nigga, because of you, dumbass. We definitely got to do some digging today. Nigga, you know why I leave, nigga? I love you, nigga. Then you act like you would never talk. You was finna go see the lane. Hey, quick question. No messy stuff. How do you? How did you know what happened on Monique's birthday? She told me what happened, and it said that you said something about what happened on her birthday on live. I just want to be clear. My, I, I just want to clear my name so no one thinks it was me that came back and told you anything. I'm. I'm not trying to be in the middle of the mess. The Shay told me I wouldn't put y'all in it. In the Airbnb. In this, the, like, I just got this text. What I'm going to lie for. Not DDG told. I mean, the Shay told him. For, oh, you motherfucker. This motherfucker trying to act like she's so perfect. I, like me, I'm not. No, I'm not saying I'm perfect. I, anything you say that's true, I can speak on. Like, okay, I speak on that. Da, 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 and I tell the full story because you putting these half ass truths out so it can look a certain way. You feel me? Nigga. You know what you was doing. You was trying. You was you, bro. What is going on, bro? You was finna go see Delane. You you was finna go see a Delane at an Airbnb. Your mama was finna take you, and your mama was finna. You was finna fly with your mama to go see this one nigga in Washington. You told me you was going ice skating with your friend. Whole time you was finna go. See All right, so bro went live on on um YouTube. I mean, fuck, he went live on Instagram, nigga, on I'm my birthday. Instagram. Come on, hello. Stop with this lying ass shit, bro. Then the abuse shit even worse, cuz, cause I never laid my hands on you. So all these little fake ass shit you showing me, it's like, nigga, you showing little ass scratches. Nigga, yeah, you probably did some dumb shit and got up on me. Then I'm, I got nails, bro. So it's like, all oh, it's like moving you off me, that shit gonna scratch you. You know that, bro. Saying you scratching her is crazy. But I ain't socking on you. I'm not hitting on you, nigga. Like, come on, bro. She said, where did I get the shade? Where, bringing in. Saying he accidentally scratched her is crazy. Nigga, see, now you trying to lie about it. Yo, brother called me and told me, nigga. If I hopped on the plane to the A, dumb ass, fuck is you talking? Wait, your brother told me what? Hey, bro, but I ain't socking on you. I'm not hitting on you, nigga. Like, come on, bro. You said, where did I get the shade? Where, bringing a nigga. See, now you trying to lie about it. Your brother called me and told me, nigga. Fuck. The shade called her and told her. Uh, the shade called him and told him that she was with another nigga? That's trash would never.
hop on the plane to the A. Dumb ass. <laughs> Fuck is you talking about? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you don't be knowing. I know. Yeah, he was out here. You tried to bring him to your mama's birthday, then you thirsty as fuck. Nah, yeah. her, her brother yeah. snitching is great. This shit is worse than what I thought. Day toxic. And I'm telling y'all, watch. He's going to take her back in a couple more months. Talking about how he missed her. He gonna be on live saying her name, reminiscing. She gonna put Bob. Hold on, I'm about to get a live myself. We need to mind our own business. If it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this case. Next I'm about to get to live now. myself, baby. Versus Pussy and Prayer. Now, baby, I don't know why Drake can't let this go, but honey, he is not taking that ill will he got from Pusha T when he told us about Adonis. And Adonis would still be in that bunker under the ground if Pusha T would have never told us about him. Now, he came back out with another disc. He had a verse from Travis Scott's song called Meltdown. And honey, he said what he said. And I'm just like, sir, I'm just say that type, no cap. I'm not surprised, for real. What did Pharrell do to you? He ain't do nothing. Now, if you might want to trade on it, because Pharrell is actually a musical genius. He write his own shit, produce his own shit. Don't need nobody to help him out with no beats, hooks, and nothing like that. And when he come back, he gonna come back and he gonna get on your ass. So you might want to keep it cute. And Drake, I ain't trying to be funny, but last time you did this, you had to go get that. That little slow fucking man to come and get Pusha T up off you. You know we talking about Jay Prince. Now let's stop because don't. Hold on, I think I got the live. Ain't no way he was live at. Oh. 5:37 a.m. Ain't no way. I'll start some shit that you can't finish. But word on the curb is this nigga be live early in the morning. They feel the reason that Pharrell got this straight. Oh, okay, that's why. Always right. look up to Pharrell. He Never mind, to I didn't get that. To Neptune's them, but he didn't. He ended up getting on with Lil Wayne and the people that was beefing with whatever. Because I mean, I don't know. Go listen to the Exodus by Pusha T. Your girls is telling the seat, but you know people be forgetting that. I don't know. I ain't got to do with it, but so mind you, Pusha T was performing, y'all, and now he done said Drake done paid some people to throw beer on him. Why you? Oh, nah, that's crazy. I got niggas fighting and everything. I don't think Drake did that. Drake would never. <laughs> Why would Drake do that? Why the hell would Drake do that? Let me tell y'all something. To throw beer, nigga. The fuck is that? Y'all know where the fuck I'm from? You don't even know. Keep going in this bitch. I don't know. Anyway. Y'all know Brooklyn um Instagram name? Wait, where? Well, I sent one live on Discord. It was an hour long. Damn, King Chrissy, now you tell me. Next game. Next one, we have Blueface. I sent one live on Discord. It's an hour long, but he went live multiple times. Is that the live where he was exposing everything? This versus Christian Rock. We get it. <laughs> you could have did your own thing and said, fuck me. I get it. You was. What's you Brooklyn Instagram name? Me, but including me, but saying fuck me. And I just don't like this little Twitter beef because. Why did I take out my tweets so left? Like, I said what I said because it was like that. At one time, I was drinking and it was fun. And it was, it got she got a million followers? It. it was not fun. I was drinking because I had to drink. Like, what? Oh, this her. Like, what the fuck? I really had to drink to be around him, to work around him, to... To forget what he planned with. Plan. She just said you did me wrong when I gave you the chance. Now I'm doing better. You come, you can't come mm -hmm. again. I don't want to get too technical because then he could be like, "Why you do all that? Why you say all that?" I don't want to screenshot messages because he could be like, "Why you do that? Why you say all well, that? We gotta do Why this you show all that? I don't be doing that to you." Well, so I'm like, okay. <laughs> So, okay, we got into a situation. Okay, he was on house arrest or whatever, right? 
So I made sure the little situation was cool. Like I made sure he had the spot ready. He live right now from his spam page. What is his spam page called? So I got his fuck niggas got spam pages. Okay, we gotta finish this. First of all, we've already seen this. We've already seen this. What's what are we talking about? Child, What's his spam page called? Where did we go in the morning? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, we done with this here. Y'all already know we talk about Krishan all day, every day. Whole lot of money on the flow. All right. Y'all listen, we done with this video. We gotta get to something else. Y'all know we know Krishan and Blueface is crazy as hell. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.